Welcome to another AI video tutorial. Today I will test three different tools for talking avatars to see what the strengths and weaknesses of each are. I will test Kling AI avatar, Hedra character, and Infinite Talk. Let's start first with Kling AI website since they recently released the avatar function. Then go to the video menu, and if you scroll down a little you can see this avatar function. Click on it, and now we have more options for avatars. You can generate an image with AI or select an avatar from the library. However, in this video, I will use the same images and the same audio on all platforms so we can compare. So I will click here and then upload this photo of the man. We start with something simple and later we will see how we can do more complex ones. Make sure the face is visible so it can track the mouth. Kling AI is analyzing the image to see if it can do lip syncing for your image. It seems to be okay since it let me upload the image. Now we need audio. You can input the text you want to speak and choose a voice, but I will upload my own audio that I generated on a different platform. Now we need a prompt that describes what is happening. You cannot control the movement too much when it is talking, so use prompts like a man talking, a woman talking, and add some extra details. For example, a man with a beard wearing a headset speaks directly to the camera. Then you have two options, one cheaper and one more expensive. I will use the full HD resolution. It seems it takes almost 9 credits per second, and I have a 10 second audio so it costs me 88 credits. Click Generate. Let's see how long it will take. It says around 12 minutes, but I think I got the results faster than that. By the way, if you are wondering how I generated the images, I am using Comfy UI installed locally because it is free, and I can create high quality images with it. This woman was generated with the WAN model. It takes a while to get used to it, and it also needs a good NVIDIA card. For illustrations, I am using the Quen model since it lets me make full HD images easily without having to upscale them. And if you are wondering what I use for audio, it is the platform Minimax. If you go to products, they have audio, and then on the left, they have text-to-speech. I can input text and select a voice I want so it can read it for me. I did a tutorial about that not long ago, so search Minimax on my YouTube channel. The voice you are hearing now is from the same platform. It converted my text to audio, and then I edited it in CapCut to make it sync, like pausing the video, cutting parts, or making it go faster so the voice matches the video. For the second platform, I will test Hedra. They have had an avatar function for a while now, and it is called Hedra Character 3 at the time I did this recording. Click where it says Video, and then in the list, I can choose the Hedra Character 3. I am using the free version at the moment, but it seems to have more options there, not only avatar for those who have a premium account. Again, I don't want to generate the image and then the video, I want to input my own image, the same image of the man like I did on Kling AI. So where it says start frame, I select upload image, and then I upload the man image. For aspect ratio, I will choose 9 to 16. By the way, you get better results with portrait than with landscape because the face is bigger in portrait. As you can see, when comparing those two ratios, it is much easier for AI to see the face, so it will make fewer mistakes in portrait mode. Where it says audio script, click on it, and again you have different options to generate or record audio, but I will upload my own audio, the same one I used before. Here it tells me it can do a maximum of 20 seconds if you are a free user, and it will also add a watermark for free users on the video. I will click Add to Video since my audio is only 10 seconds. It also shows some terms notification that you can read. Then I will use the same prompt as before, but feel free to experiment with prompts. For image quality, it has two options. I will use the 720p option. To generate, it says it costs me 64 credits. It also says not to close the browser, which is strange because on other platforms you can close it. I did notice, though, that the generation is quite fast compared with other platforms. Then the third option we test is Infinite Talk. This is a website that lets you generate long audio-driven videos without limits, but I read somewhere that after one minute the quality starts to downgrade a little. If I click on Infinite Talk, you can see it lets you upload an image or a video, and then you can choose from two resolutions. For 720p, it costs 2 credits per second, which means for my 10 second video, it costs me 20 credits. If we look at the price, they do offer different options, but it seems way too expensive. For example, for $10, you get 90 credits. 
So if it costs me 20 credits for 10 seconds, with 90 credits, I can only get 45 seconds of video. That is way too expensive for me. They also only offer a commercial license for $30, and with $30, you can do about 3 minutes and 25 seconds of video. So I was searching for alternatives that are much cheaper. In fact, you can do it for free using Comfy UI, but you are limited by your hardware. To generate something like a 40-second video, you need a good NVIDIA card with a lot of VRAM. I have an RTX 4090, so it works for me using this workflow. Check episode 60 on my Pixaroma YouTube channel if you want to see how I did it. From this node, I load the image of the man. Then, from this node, I load the audio. In this node, there is the prompt, but I forgot to change it. By default, I had a man talking. For the size, by default, it is 480p, and if your video card can handle it, you can do 720p by changing the values to 720 and 1280. If we look at the Infinite Talk website, they offer the same sizes. If I zoom out, you can see here where you add the prompt. Then you click Run, and we will see how long it takes. Probably a little longer since I am also recording, so it is using a bit of that memory. Now, if you don't have a good NVIDIA card, you can also try the same Comfy UI workflow in the cloud. I am using Running Hub because they already have Comfy UI set up. I just adapt the workflow and I don't have to download models or figure out how to install nodes. I created this workflow and they are using the same video card as I do, the RTX 4090. All you need to do is launch it in the cloud. They do offer some free credits if you log in daily, but the premium one is really affordable. As you can see, the workflow is the same in the cloud as locally. I upload the image, then I upload the audio file. For the size, you can change to 720p, just depends on how you want it. Don't forget to add the prompt, and then you can click Run. I have the personal plan, so if the workflow doesn't take more than 40 minutes to finish, it should work OK. If you get Plus, they give you access to a 48GB video card, so it should be faster but also more expensive. The limit is extended to 60 minutes which means you can probably do around one minute of video without running out of memory, but I didn't test that long. For prices, in my opinion, the one that is worth it is the Personal or Personal Plus. With Personal, you get 50,000 credits for $10. Compared with Infinite Talk, which let me do under a minute in total with $10, here I can do over 30 minutes with those credits. They say 833 videos, but probably they refer to five-second videos. By the way, they offer all kinds of workflows made by different users. Like I did with Infinite Talk, others have workflows for WAN, image generation, image editing, and more, so make sure you check their workflows tab. For Kling, with the standard plan, you can do about 1 minute and 15 seconds, so it is a tiny bit cheaper than Infinite Talk, but still way more expensive than running Hub. I have the Pro version since I like their 2.1 model for image to video. With $30, you can do around 5 minutes and a few seconds. While Comfy UI is still generating, because I used 720p instead of 480p, it takes double the time to generate. The first one to finish is Hedra. So if you are looking for fast generation, Hedra seems to be faster than the rest. I had free credits collected over a few months, so let's check how much their plans cost. It seems that for $10, you get about 1,000 credits, which is around 2 minutes and 30 seconds of video in total, but do the math to make sure. For the price, it seems a little cheaper than Kling and Infinite Talk. Let's go to history to see what we got. As you can see, I get a big watermark on the free version. Let's click here to download it. You can upgrade to remove the watermark, but I just download it as it is since this is only for testing. Right after that, Kling AI finished also. So for speed, Kling AI is second place after Hedra. I have premium so I can download without watermark. On Running Hub, it is still generating, and on Local Comfy UI, it is also still generating. If you want it faster, you can do 480p instead of 720p like I showed you. Don't forget to add the prompt. I had a man talking by default, so it is fine. A few minutes later, it finished on Running Hub. It took 15 minutes and 44 seconds and under 200 credits to generate, and I have 50,000 credits per month. You can download it from here. It just finished for Comfy UI as well. 
If I don't have the recorder running, it is usually a bit faster than running Hub. It took me 18 minutes and 28 seconds for a 10 second video at 720p resolution. You can find the video in the output folder or right click on video and save it from there. Now that we have all the videos, let's compare. Hedra does a maximum of 720 resolution. Not sure why it changed the ratio a bit. It says 1278 instead of 1280, which was the size of the image, so it lost two pixels. For Kling AI, we have full HD, so 1080 resolution, the biggest size compared with the others. Running Hub, like the rest, can do 720, and the same with Comfy UI if you have a good video card. So let's play each of the videos to see the results. Today we're going to look at how easy it is to use this new tool. I'll walk you through the steps, explain what each part does, and show you how it works in practice. Are you ready? Today we're going to look at how easy it is to use this new tool. I'll walk you through the steps, explain what each part does, and show you how it works in practice. Are you ready? Today we're going to look at how easy it is to use this new tool. I'll walk you through the steps, explain what each part does, and show you how it works in practice. Are you ready? If we compare all three, my favorites are Kling AI and Running Hub. Kling AI can do the biggest resolution. If we compare the quality of the video for realism, Hedra seems to have the lowest quality, with some artifacts and blurriness. If we speak about movement, Hedra and Infinite Talk have nice movement, with more motion compared to Kling AI, which doesn't move that much. If we compare the lip sync, Hedra seems a little bit off, like some movements are not in sync. So my conclusion is that for accuracy, Hedra is not so good. If you want realism, go with Kling AI or Infinite Talk. And if you want more movement and more accurate lip sync, go with Infinite Talk. If you are a beginner and want something user friendly and you have enough money, go with Kling AI or with Infinite Talk website instead. Let's try a different project, 3D animation style, to see if things are different in this case. For my homework, I learned about talking avatars. They are digital characters that can speak, listen, almost like a real person. I think they're really fun and could make learning much easier and more exciting. For my homework, I learned about talking avatars. They are digital characters that can speak, listen, almost like a real person. I think they're really fun and could make learning much easier and more exciting. For my homework, I learned about talking avatars. They are digital characters that can speak, listen, almost like a real person. I think they're really fun and could make learning much easier and more exciting. For animation, all did a nice job. Hedra did a better job than with real people, but the quality of the image is the lowest compared with the other two. It looks more like 480p than 720p, not sure why. When it comes to motion, Kling AI seems to have the least movement. I mean it moves, but not as much as the others, so they could improve the model in that part. Let's see if it can do an animal character. I tried a goat character, and as long as it has a mouth and eyes so it can detect a face, it should probably be able to do some animation. I am a brave guardian of the valley, sworn to protect my friends from any danger. With my spear and shield, I'm always ready to stand strong and defend what matters most. I am a brave guardian of the valley, sworn to protect my friends from any danger. With my spear and shield, I'm always ready to stand strong and defend what matters most. I am a brave guardian of the valley, sworn to protect my friends from any danger. With my spear and shield, I'm always ready to stand strong and defend what matters most. Once again, Kling AI and Infinite Talk did a great job, and Hedra again had the lip sync a little bit off, and the quality of the video is not as good. It is interesting how each platform did the teeth a little bit differently. One thing I noticed is that Kling AI tends to smooth the texture a little. I mean, at full HD, I expected more texture, but sometimes I get more texture on Infinite Talk at HD quality, and it should be the reverse. And for the last project, let's try to do a woman singing. If the voice is clear, in theory it should be able to do it, but let's see. Avatar speaking, wired in the code, circuits in the rhythm, now is that a load? Voice of the future, data in the stream, talking with the silence, living in the dream. Ooh. Avatar speaking, wired in the code, circuits in the rhythm, now is that a load? Voice of the future, data in the stream, talking with the silence, living in a dream. Ooh. Avatar speaking, wired in the code, 
future, dead in the stream, talking with the silence, living in the dream. For music, I think the best lip sync was done by Kling AI in this case. Hedra was off again, and the quality is low. Infinite Talk was very close to Kling AI, but for some reason it changed the lighting toward the end of the video. Also, on Kling AI, it smoothed the face and especially the lips. If we compare the lips of Kling AI with the others on Kling AI, they look a little more artificial. In conclusion, the best results I got were with Kling AI and Infinite Talk. Infinite Talk had a little more motion and sometimes can be more realistic, while Kling AI can sometimes do lip sync a tiny bit better. Hedra can work for animation and cartoon characters, but I don't really recommend it for realistic video since the quality is so low. If we talk about cost, Infinite Talk is the most expensive if you use the Infinite Talk platform, but it is also the cheapest if you use Running Hub or Comfy UI. The disadvantage of that is it is less user friendly and you are limited by the video card. This is my personal opinion at the time of recording this video. AI advances very fast, so in a month any other platform could release better tools and things might change. Until then, I will use Comfy UI when I am at the PC with Infinite Talk, Running Hub when I am on the laptop and don't have a good video card, and Kling AI on mobile or when I want something faster and easier to use. If you found something useful, leave a like and a comment to help with the YouTube algorithm. Thank you AI Titans and everyone who subscribed to the membership and keeps this channel going. I wish you a great day and I will see you on Discord.